Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. So 31-year-old Indiana resident Anthony Vo traveled to D.C. with his mother. So this is another mother-boy experience. If you guys have not seen Arrested Development, you have to go watch it. Best show ever. I don't know what you're doing with your life if you haven't seen it. But anyway, um, so Vo and his mom headed to the Capitol after Donald Trump's speech. And Vo was recording and taking photos the whole time. So he witnessed all of the crimes taking place. But he continued on to the building. And he was seen on surveillance video illegally entering the Capitol. This was around 2.30 in the afternoon. He and his mom both entered through a doorway that's actually designated as an emergency exit. So I guess you could say he walked in through the outdoor, outdoor. <laughs> no raspberry beret. Anyway, they made their way over to the Capitol Rotunda. And he was seen and heard on video. He was raising his fist in the air. He was yelling freedom, which he won't be yelling for a while. Um, so eventually, a large group of officers entered the rotunda. They started forcing everyone out. And at that point, Vo and his mom exited the building. And after being inside for a half hour, they went outside. But then they remained on the Capitol grounds for a while longer. And Vo texted a friend while he was there. And he said, quote, stormed the fuck out of with my mom lol later that night vo sent additional text messages and he continued to brag about his crimes he wrote quote my mom and i stormed it lol my mom and i got to storm the capitol and quote yeah they stood down and retreated after we clearly outnumbered them and then in another message, it was very clear Vo knew exactly what they were doing at the Capitol and how his actions affected the certification of the election. Vo told someone else, quote, wow, apparently we stopped the vote count for a bit. And then in a social media message, he wrote, quote, my mom and I helped stop the vote count for a bit. And he told one person that it would be, quote, so easy to storm the Capitol with arms and, quote, they had it easy today. So Vo was arrested on J July 21st of 2021, and he was charged with entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct and parading or demonstrating in a Capitol. Vo initially accepted a plea deal for the parading charge, but at the plea hearing, he refused to admit that he knew he wasn't allowed to enter the building. So the court refused to accept that guilty plea. That was in March of 2022. Then in June of 2023, the government went back and they offered him a second plea deal. This time they said, okay, you're going to have to plead to entering a restricted building or grounds. Now that charge comes with a longer sentence. So Vo said no. He refused to accept it. He said, I want to go to trial. So he did. Indeed, he did go to trial. And as we all could have predicted, the jury found Vo guilty on all counts. So he faced up to one year in prison, one year of probation, and $100,000 in fines based on just one of the four misdemeanors. This time, the prosecutor requested almost the full term. They asked for 11 months in prison, one year of probation, 60 hours of community service, and 500 in restitution. And in their sentencing memo, the government said Vo violated his pretrial release conditions by visiting what the area known as Freedom Corner on three different nights, on at least three different nights. So that's an area, if you haven't heard about this, Freedom Corner is just outside of the DC jail. And this is where January 6 groupies get together every night. And, you know, they pretend like these insurrectionists are victims. So the criminals inside call from a phone, they, they call from the jail, they call Freedom Corner, the groupies out there, and one of the groupies will hold the phone up to a microphone so everybody can hear what they're saying, hear them whining about how, oh, we did nothing wrong in the deep state and Antifa, and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, Vo got in trouble for this back in September of last year. 
And the judge imposed an 8 p.m. curfew on him. The, the judge could have just sent him to, to jail at that point, but, you know, he got off easy. So he got a curfew. And then the prosecutor also noted that Vo continues to play the victim card on social media. In one post, he wrote, quote, there was zero jury of peers and 100% a kangaroo court. And his Twitter bio says that he's a J6 wrongful convict. So as for his criminal history, he was convicted in 2017. He was arrested uh, in Texas with, quote, multiple bottles and packages of marijuana, a number of firearms, and a significant amount of ammunition. And then he had also a 2019 and a 2020 conviction. They each involved possession of drugs. So U.S. District Judge Tanya Chutkin presided over Vo's case, and she was not happy with him and, and also his attorney at this sentencing hearing. Vo's attorney was trying to argue that, oh, you know, Vo was just attending a prayer vigil. They were just there praying. So Judge Chutkin eventually lost her patience and she said, quote, are you serious? <laughs> and then when the judge found out that these Gen 6 groupies call it Freedom Corner, she rolled her eyes, they said, and shook her head. And in regard to the people being held in the jail, she told everyone, quote, they're being kept there because they are dangerous people. And then at one point, the prosecutor told Judge Chutkin how Vo has been, you know, complaining, how he is being prosecuted by a kangaroo court. And Judge Chutkin replied, quote, I've been called worse. I'm thick skinned. <laughs> and then the judge also said she remembered something that really stuck out to her and that bothered her. She said she remembered during the trial Vo was smiling while he was sitting at the defense table while an officer was testifying and describing all of the violence that day and how bad it was. And she told his attorney, quote, I don't believe Mr. Vo thinks the law applies to him. And, quote, he has doubled down on his behavior. So when all was said and done, Vo was sentenced to nine months in prison, one year of probation, and $1,000 in a fine. Considering this guy wasted the court's time on a trial and how he continues to play the victim, I really wish she had given him the full 11 months. This was decent, though, considering he didn't hurt anyone, he didn't vandalize anything. And, you know, guess who won't be voting for Trump? Guess who won't be a free man voting for Trump in November? Gotta love it. All right. I will let you know if I hear any more. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share, and please subscribe if you have not. Please donate if you possibly can. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.